Hello, Georgie. Hello. Anyways, hello. I'm an aspiring singer, songwriter, performer, and musician, and I document my journey ad astra, which means to the stars, on this YouTube channel. Today, I will tell you of an aspiring musician's, like myself, biggest fear. So stay tuned. And also, I want to ask for a favor. Hello, you. I only ask for one thing. No matter if you clicked on this video on accident or you've been waiting to watch it or you got a notification, just please listen very carefully. Please watch this video to the very end. And it's a win-win for you and it's a win-win for me because then my video is going to start showing up in more places, more people are going to watch it. And if you like my content, you like me and you wish me well, then more people are going to like it and possibly get inspired like you did, if you did. And on the other hand, if you do not, that's also a win for you because then more people are gonna watch it and they're gonna, you know, have reasons to criticize my content and you guys can bond. Make new friends, watch this video to the end. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, right, I was talking about the biggest fear. Um, <laughs> before I tell you, I need to practice, so. I'll see you in one and a half hours. I start off my singing practice with the lip bubble always, and this is my setup. Water bottle always, and it's filled up to the brink, and I have my piano, and here's my phone, cause you know, exercises. Every time I like start, barely, my voice sounds really deep. Like I just talk and it sounds like this. <laughs> so that's, that's the fun times. When I do exercises, I have to really focus on my diaphragm and make sure that it stays expanded throughout. That's the goal. So usually I put like one hand over here on my rib cage, and also I do my best to breathe through my stomach and not my um, chest. Cause that's what you're supposed to do. I'd say I do it about like 84% of the time, just pretty good. Cause I used to do it like 15. So you know, you live and you learn. But usually during exercises, I pay very close attention to that. It's really important for me to also focus on the volume to make sure that um, my singing doesn't get too loud, especially on exercises, because if it does, I'm going to be straining my voice and that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's the, that's the tea for the day, ladies and gents, that's the tea. You big idiots. That was me doing an Irish accent. And then the other teacher, she told me to do this one exercise on the piano. And so how I do it is... I do one exercise from the tape and then I do the exercise that my teacher told me to do, the other one, because it's actually been very helpful. So I'm gonna show you how it is. I've been mostly doing it from A3 to A4. The more of the piano that you can cover, the better. The exercise is on, on that sound because it's the most natural to your voice. Your vocal cords, they're vibrating and they're opening and closing in the most proper way, which is how it's supposed to be when you're singing, but you know, when you're building your technique, it's tough. Um, especially for, yeah, whatever. My teacher told me to do the smallest sound possible. Um, just so you know, you're not thinking about dynamics. You're just thinking of properly setting yourself up for the note proper breath and yeah and then she said next time that we meet which is actually supposed to be in two days we're gonna work on dynamics so we're gonna grow that tiny tiny sound into a big beautiful voluptuous bass you know i love to sing hi guys i'm back one and a half hours later with the same exact setup <laughs> <laughs> so, let's talk about an aspiring musician's biggest secret, huh? I've always been encapsulated in this idea that success means garnering others' attention. And it's almost like there's this unspoken rule that you're not successful unless you're very well known. And being a teenager in the 21st century, I just kind of sometimes sit back and observe this whole scheme of things. And I find it humorous how many people just, they want that attention and they want that fame. If you haven't watched my previous video, I got 1.4 million views on TikTok. You should. I talk about it because um, I actually did blow up in TikTok one of the videos. TikTok is a very teenage friendly platform. And I know this, you know, I, there was just a period of time where I was like, what video can I do to blow up on TikTok? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it, but I just find it funny. Everybody wants to be an influencer, you know? If 
the essence of what you do is chasing after an audience. First of all, I don't think the audience is gonna come to you. I just, I find that intention to be corrupt. Cause you know, I think the things that corrupt people most in the world are money and power. And being an influencer, it gives you, influencer, it gives you a certain amount of power. You know, you can preach to people about your life and you don't even have to follow your advice, but people are still gonna listen. So I think that kind of makes the whole scheme of things, your journey to, I don't know, anything, just kind of disingenuous. So bringing it back to music, if you're a musician, and I mean not in a career or professional sense, if you feel in the very core of your soul and heart that music is your passion, like you just, you can't imagine yourself without ever doing it. You would, you know how unhappy you would be. Then as a true musician, you do not want fame. Public figures want fame. If you're chasing to be a public figure, you do. But you know, you're basically chasing after fame. But obviously I'm not holier than thou, you know, attention, it's, it's great. I love it. <laughs> I love being the center of attention. I loved it when my video blew up. And I would absolutely love if my channel blew up on YouTube. But I just want to clarify that that's not something I'm chasing after. So back to my point, I think money and influence, they really push one further away from art, especially as an artist of any kind. You can't be too preoccupied with that. Andy Warhol has a quote, one of my favorites, it is, don't think about making art, just get it done. Let everyone else decide if it's good or bad, whether they love it or hate it, while they are deciding, make even more art. My intent with this YouTube channel is to grow it and just have like-minded individuals on it, you know, who have a goal, who have ambition, and who will be open to listening to my music when I release it, which is, I'm thinking, a year or two. And then all of that is gonna get me closer to my goal, holding the biggest concert in the history of concerts on June 25th, 2029, when I'm 25 years old. I feel like it's such a perfect number, like June 25th, I am 25 years old, 2029, and nine years from now, it just mathematically makes sense. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but you know, whatever. <laughs> this video isn't about purpose, but if you were to think about it that way, some people, they're just, you know, they're not gonna reach their goal. But what kind of brings me comfort is thinking about how many successful songwriters there are and nobody even knows them. Like I'm sure in their niche, you know, they're well known, but I don't know very many songwriters that are just exclusively songwriters and they, they're still successful in a financial sense and they still get to do what they love, I hope. Also a fun example that I like referring back to is John Mayer. You know him, I know him. Um, I don't really listen to his music, but I know the name John Mayer and I know what type of songs he has. And he was talking about airport fame and he was saying how right now at the age of like 40 or whatever, Throughout his career, he's been in this perfect spot because he gets to do what he loves. And right now, he, well, before quarantine, he has sold out stadiums of people and they all came to watch and it was great. But he still says that when and if he goes to the airport, he's probably not gonna get all like paparazzi and recognized, which he enjoys and I'm happy for him. My message is that I love music and it makes me very happy and yes. Thank you for watching this video to the end, and I hope you have the best day of your life today. Bye. See you Fridays at 7 and Tuesdays at 11.